the launch of the world's first Intel Insight smartphone, which has been launched by uh, Lava International here in India. This phone is powered by an Intel Atom processor, which is, uh, runs on 1.8 gigahertz clock speed. This is, uh, I, I should tell you again, this is world's first Intel Insight smartphone, which has been launched. This was announced in the Mobile World Congress at Barcelona a few months back. In the month of April, uh, this phone has been commercially launched in India at a price of approximately 22,000 rupees. Let me first talk about the hardware of this phone. The build quality seems very nice. This is a metallic strip here. The back looks like of some composite material, something rubberish. There is a polycarbonate. This is a, an 8 megapixel camera with LED flash, which can take pictures uh, in burst mode up to 10 full resolution 8 megapixel pictures in one second this is the 3.5 mm audio jack here the power key on this side you have got an, a mini hdmi out here you have got one speaker here is the another one at the bottom you have got the charging and data port which is a mini usb here you have a dedicated camera key this is the micro sim slot this is the volume rocker up here on the front you have a video camera for uh, for video calling and as you can see this runs on the gingerbread uh, but as promised by Lava in, in next quarter, probably 3-4 months, it will come with an over-the-air ice cream sandwich 4.0 update of Android. Let me show you uh, this, the version of this phone right now. Okay, so this runs on Android 2.3.7 as of now. The touch experience is good. The screen resolution is uh, 1024 by 600 pixels, which is pretty good for a 4-inch capacitive touch screen. The screen is very bright. You have got some touch buttons at the bottom. This is the home button, search button, context menu button, and back button here. And uh, let me quickly show you the uh, browsing performance. The browser <coughs> is pretty, uh, I would say, fluid. It, it is loading uh, website in very good way. It has got a dedicated 400 megahertz graphic along with the 1.6 gigahertz processor. So uh, the rendering of the web pages is pretty quick and very seamless as you can see. I'm just opening another page. So this is lo loading in the mobile optimized version. Apart from this, uh, in terms of software, uh, there is uh, nothing strikingly very different but the performance of this phone as as such is very good considering the price point of 22,000 rupees which is expected to go down gradually so this is how fluid the scrolling is and this phone is right now connected through an HDMI cable to the LCD display which is displaying in full uh, HDMI high definition as you can see and the accelerometer is also very uh, responsive as as soon as you turn the phone you can see the, the display is very crisp this is uh, pretty much it for the uh, Zolo 